Hi, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you the quickest, most efficient, easiest way to apply silicone with one of these, silicon applicator. For years I've been applying silicon by marking out the area with a low tack tape or an insulating tape so that you don't get silicon everywhere and I've been using my finger to smooth the silicon across the tile. Now, that works really well, but it's a little bit fiddly, but I had a bit of a discovery when I was in a DIY store and I chanced upon one of these. It comes from Everbuild, they come in packs of two, there's a silicon removing tool here, which is a great little product, but this little tool is what makes all the difference. The way it works is it's got a rubber blade running right right round it with a nice smoothed edge, which enables you to get a really good finish with the silicon. And crucially, because the rubber runs so far past the edge, you don't have to worry about whether you're gonna make a mess either side of the silicon bead, because what this rubber does is it smooths all the excess silicon out of the way. Okay, in today's toolkit, we've got tube of silicon, silicon gum to apply it with, scrape, a Stanley scraper to remove the silicon with, not essential, but white spirit to help clean off the silicon once we've applied it and the real star of the show today this little chap the silicon smoothing tool so this is my wash basin which i've got to reapply the silicon bead because the granite surface wasn't quite secured properly and so it's pulled the silicon out so it's provided me with a perfect opportunity to show you how this thing works i've got rid of the previous silicon with one of these, it's a scraper with a Stanley blade fitted into it and it's a really good tool for removing the previous bead of silicon. The other thing you can use is the scraper tool and again this can be used here as I'm showing you now to remove the silicon. It's a bit fiddly to work around the taps but what I'm going to show you now is how to work the silicon in a continuous movement into the joint. So there we go, you can see it just going in now. Working around the taps. Again, working around the taps. Not too worried about any excess silicon squeezing past the edge of the tube for, because this little tool I've got is so fantastic. Okay, that's the whole area done. Now, this is the crucial bit. Watch this little tool in action. Working around the taps. Turn, remove any excess from where I was working around the taps. You see what a smooth bead you're left with. You can keep going over it a couple of times. You want to restrict that to a couple of minutes after you've applied the silicon because then it will start to become a bit tacky. Here we come again, look. I'm just going to apply a little bit more here. Again, this is something that you wouldn't normally need, you wouldn't normally consider doing, but because this tool is so effective, you can just apply it and then smooth it off. The last thing I'm going to do with a little bit of white spirit, I'm just going to coat it a bit of white spirit onto the rubber tool, the rubber blade of the tool. I'm going to get a go over one last time any areas where I think there's any excess silicon left. And there we go. A beautiful professional tradesman's finish. 
applied yourself with minimal hassle, minimum stress. So I really hope you found today's video useful. What I'm hoping you realize by using this tool is that you can actually take on something that you might have thought was quite scary, something that you might have had to get a specialist tradesman in to do. Siliconing is not difficult as long as you follow the right procedures and with a tool like this you can dispense with the need for all the low tack adhesive and all the other fiddly things that make siliconing a little bit more complicated and get the job done quickly and easily. If you like what you've seen today you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below and you can also get in touch with me through social media on the links here.